Hi everybody, this is Rogue Pisces Tarot. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Pretty much everyone's new. This is a brand new channel, so honestly, thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm going to be doing a tarot love reading for the Pisces Collective. So Pisces in love. The messages may not resonate for everybody, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else to discover. If the messages in this video do not resonate with you, please make sure that you check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. There can be messages embedded in those, uh, those videos for you that are more relevant depending on what's going on in the sky and the heavens right now. Uh, roles can be reversed or vice versa. There is no gender in tarot. This is all just energy, everybody. If you like the reading, please hit the like button. That will help the video reach more people who may need to hear the messages that are in here, whether they resonate with you or not. You can subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And please drop a comment down below. I would love to hear your feedback. I'm going to try to get a little faster. I've noticed I'm pretty long-winded. So please stick with me as I kind of figure this out. All right. I also don't read reversals, so just heads up on that. So spirit, please guide me in this reading towards the clearest possible messages for the greatest number of the Pisces Collective. Pisces in love. Pisces Collective in love. Pisces Collective in love. Pisces Collective in love. Pisces Collective in love. Please spirit. What do they need to know? Pisces Collective in love. Please guide me. Pisces Collective in love, Pisces Collective in love, Pisces Collective in love, Pisces Collective in love. Oops. Messages please here for the Pisces Collective. In love. Pisces Collective in Love. Pisces Collective in Love. Pisces Collective in Love. So right out the gate, I read these as past, present, and future. The past we have the strength card, could be a Leo energy. We have the eight of wands, uh, messages, arrows of love, um, fast moving energy. We also have the three of cups, okay, reunion, rejoicing, celebration. Um, spending time with friends, going out with your girls, going out with your boys, going out with your humans, right? So, in the past, there was this energy of strength, having to have this gentle determination. And this energy, this, this fast-moving messages of the Eight of Wands, and some kind of reconciliation coming in here okay in your present energy we have the knight of pentacles so the slowest moving knight um they do bring with them a pentacle a good offer but they take their time they mean what they say they think it out but they are going to take their time they're not they're not gonna uh, 
They're not going to jump into it. They're not going to be too impulsive about it. They're going to make sure that they have it right before they approach somebody. And, I mean, taking too long can lead to feeling left out, feeling left out in the cold, right? Um, this is sort of in the center of your spread. And there could be that they're just taking too long. So we have earth energy, earth energy again. And then justice. So balancing of the scales, this could be a karmic connection, could have to do with some sort of judicial proceeding, could have to do with law. Um, but it could very well be about the balancing of the scales, right? Balancing of the scales between, in love, between two people, of trying to come at things with fairness. This could be why your night is taking so long. They may not realize that they're causing you this feeling, this feeling of being sort of left out. Not really knowing where to turn because they're taking their sweet time. And from if you've come from a, a history of of rejoicing and and fast movement and having to have strength to sort of tame your inner beast, right? To sort of handle things uh, appropriately, you know, manage your passions. This can feel like torture <laughs> if you're impatient, Pisces. Um, okay, and then in the future future placement we have the four of pentacles so again earth energy um really about sort of clinging onto something holding onto something and not wanting to let it go um so this could be you could be your person but some sort of need it could also have to do with money right kind of greediness wanting to hold it all I'll keep it, everything for yourself. Um, but the security that the, they believe that the money, that the material world is giving them, they're completely blocking their heart chakra with it. Which often needs to be open if we are going to accept love. Again, future position. We have seven pentacles. Seven pentacles is all about looking at all of the work that you have put into something and wondering if it was worth it, you know? He's staring at one pentacle in particular. He has other pentacles at his feet down here that are, are ready and ripe, but he's kind of staring at the ones on the vine, going, are they ready yet? Should I do it now? Should I do it later? Is it worth it? I don't really know. I had to do so many things to get these to grow. and. Maybe even doing that thing, like if you're sitting at a red light and you're like, turn red, turn red, turn red, turn red, right? Like, <laughs> like you, you, you're trying to like will it into happening. But there's also a new offering, some potential for passion, some kind of new idea some passionate offering coming in here. Wands are all about passion, passionate exercise, if you will. They're gifts from divine, but they are gifts that require action on our part to, to actually turn into something. Interesting, okay, so. Let's clarify. Oh, hello, Spirit. Please clarify the strength card. Okay. So clarifying the strength card, we have the Tower and the Nine of Swords. Handling a tower and a nine of swords does, in fact, require a lot of strength. <laughs> a lot of inner strength and patience with yourself, 
with the situation. So something happened, some kind of tower moment came in here and caused you to have to use all of your resources, all of your strength, right? To have to harness that energy, that Leo energy, to have to get through. And a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of doubts, a lot of nightmares, a lot of worry. Okay, that's interesting. Oof. Clarify the Eight of... Okay, well the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Wands. So this is fire energy. Leo Aries Sagittarius. This is a sexy, confident, magnetic, intelligent, feisty, interesting, and ambitious energy. Okay, this is a loyal, fiercely loyal friend. Um, loyal in all things that they do. They have everything that they need to get what they want done. So this could be you, this could be your person. So it looks like what I'm getting now is something came in quick. This person, these messages, this came in quick. In the past, and it's connected to a tower. Well, you were going through a tower moment maybe. Oof. Okay, please clarify the three of cups. Spirit. Three of Cups, please clarify the Three of Cups. Three of Cups, please clarify. The Three of Cups, please clarify. The Three of Cups. Please be very clear, Spirit. Please clarify the Three of Cups. And we have the Four of Cups. <laughs> so could be, could have something to do maybe with a third party situation. I don't always like to go to third party situations right away, but could be. Um, but I mean, this is a person sitting here reading a book, staring up at a cup, looking kind of bored, not sure if they want to take it, and ignoring that what's sitting behind them is three other cups. Now this new cup could be amazing, but they're not really acting like it is. Hmm. Okay, what do I want more of? I want the justice card. Please clarify the justice card, Spirit. Oh, come on. <laughs> Half the deck falls out, right. Okay, Spirit. Please clarify the Justice card. Please clarify the Justice card. Please clarify the Justice card. Okay. So, Justice is being clarified by the Two of Pentacles. So, in your present energy, something having to do with a choice again this karmic scales there's two sides to a scale right so this two of pentacles trying to balance trying to juggle could be love and work could be the material world could be two people but there's for there to be a sense of justice there needs to be balance and some kind of choice is going to have to be made. Oof. Okay. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. What in the world? Where'd that go? Testing my patience tonight, spirit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, well, Five of Pentacles is being clarified by the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, right? Having taken a lot of knocks, feeling like you're going to take one last push, though. One last push. It isn't a completion. The cycle isn't over. Whatever this is. One last battle. One last try. But definitely still feeling like you're left out in the cold. You or your person, I should say. Okay, Pisces. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles, Spirit. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the fool and the sun. So my feeling is the present energy being the knight of, of, of pentacles, that slow moving knight, right? Taking his time, making it all, making sure it's, he comes, he comes correct, right? But just wanting to take the leap, take the leap of faith because it will make you happy. And this, the waiting, I think, the waiting for to take one more swing at it, to actually get going, you know, this restless um, energy of the fool of just like, I'm just going to leap, I'm just going to go. But <laughs> connected to this person who's just plotting and slow and methodical and they're going to make sure it's all perfect. But maybe feeling like, please <laughs> like let's just do it let's just do it let's just jump let's just go let's just go let's go get it going oh patience is difficult pisces i understand okay well let's look at your future so we have four of pentacles right so holding on clinging to a situation clinging to the monetary to the physical world Spirit, please clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, please. Please clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Please clarify the Four of Pentacles. Spirit, why is the Four of Pentacles here? Okay. We're the King of Pentacles right? Earth energy. This is a entrepreneurial business person. This is the progression of a knight. A knight moves to a king or moves to a queen then moves to a king. And I feel like you're holding on, holding on to this person because you see the potential in them. Even though it's frustrating the hell out of you. Let's be real. Okay. Clarify. Seven of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Okay. Let's see. And we have the world. <laughs> Completion, one cycle ending and another beginning. Waiting on this, right? Waiting on this new cycle, examining the past, wondering what you could do better, do differently. Was it worth it? I don't know. And I think needing to move through that portal, through this sort of ring this one reality from one into another this new cycle this new beginning it looks like it's coming though i mean this is all positive oh tell me about the ace of wands please spirit And the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So we have 
passion and practicality. We have, you know, emotions, passions, physical pleasures, and we also have pentacles, could be money, could be the practical world, could be real things, the real practical starting of something with someone here. Maybe with this knight. <laughs> Taking his sweet time to bring this pentacle, right? To bring this pentacle to you. He wants to come correct. There's passion also. Fire and earth. We've got fire, earth, water, air. They're all here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we have couple cards to be spirit for the outcome. What is the best possible outcome for this situation for Pisces? And it's the High Priestess. It could be Aquarius. Some people read Aquarius. Sometimes High Priestess is Pisces. I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you. In your power. In yourself. In this new cycle. Right? Of the world. Your knight is turned into a king. But there's a lot of, there's some overanalyzing, and the time it's taking is frustrating. You want to take a leap, and I think you're staring at everything and, and not even sure if you want it anymore because it's been so long. But I think that this is giving you, I think it's going to come. I think they are. They're going to offer you this pentacle. They're going to offer you this wand. Okay, here we go, Pisces. So I'm going to pull a romance angel or two for some guidance. Please, spirit, some guidance. Oh, come on now. Please, spirit, some messages. Pisces Collective, please give us messages for the Pisces Collective. Please... for the Pisces Collective in love. Messages 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 for the Pisces Collective in love. Ooh. Okay. Took a little while. I feel like your night's a little contagious there. <laughs> um, so we got love yourself first. You know, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And you've already met the partner that you seek. This could be the one. All right. So don't let this waiting, don't let this this waiting bog you down because you still have this amazing energy you still are Pisces you're you're every sign all mushed up into one right and in your highest power like you're going towards the world a new cycle a new beginning so don't let this waiting get you down you work on yourself and do what's best for you Love yourself first. Okay. And we got from the Moonology, take time to breathe out. I think that that is absolutely what's going on here. This has been a long process waiting and waiting and waiting on someone. I'm not sure if they're going to make it, but it looks like they're, they're maturing and they're getting there. 
but at the same time, it's making you feel left out. So don't stop your life. Your self-respect, remember? This here, your self-respect, you know, makes you more romantically attractive. No self-respecting person sits around and pines, right? I don't, I don't feel like that's what self-respecting people do. Maybe I'm just opinionated, but, you know, self-respecting people go, yes, I want this. Yes, I'm waiting for you. Yes, please hurry up. Please, this is my son. I want to jump. I want to take the leap with you. Um, and you've known this person perhaps many times if there's a karmic connection here. But step into your power. Keep living. Keep improving yourself. And it looks like he's going to make his way from a knight to a king. Beautiful. Beautiful, Pisces. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed it. If the message resonated with you, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, let me know down below if any of this hit any chords for any of you. I'm just throwing it out there and reading the energies and having a good time after my day job. So I would love to hear from you. Um, peace and love, friends. Bye now.